A house with a history lesson. This is Rosemont in Laurel. This house is older than the town of Laurel itself. Uh, and, and just like with many historic homes, you can probably imagine the beauty of it at Christmas time. Actually, you don't have to imagine. You can see it for yourself. You are invited to Yuletide at Rosemont. And here with the details is the executive director of the Laurel Reed Development Corporation, mm -hmm. Brian Shannon. Uh, Brian's also representing the Laurel Historical Society. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us in Historic Studio D this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. So we're going to get to Yuletide, uh, in, at, uh, Yuletide at Rosemont in, in a few moments. But first, I want to talk a little bit about this house. It's it's a lot of history in it. Well, it's it's Laurel's oldest uh, remaining first period home, built in 1769. So imagine nothing else being in Laurel but this home when it was built, along with the mill dam at Records Pond. And the only thing in Laurel prior to that was that this was a, Laurel was a Nanticoke Indian reservation prior to that. So all things from Laurel built out from this property. Hmm. And there were 2,300 acres uh, uh, and with the, uh, 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 the main farm and then many other farms in the outlying areas for more than 5,000 acres that went wow. with this property. And there's been a lot mm -hmm. of renovations going on. Well, we're working towards making renovations. Okay. Uh, we, uh, Laurel Redevelopment Corporation, purchased the home in 2019. It was just, it was an opportunity to preserve history, and and working in conjunction with the Laurel Historical Society because without them, we would sort of be lost because right. this is not really our forte. Several of the Laurel Historical Society uh, board members are also on the Laurel Redevelopment Corporation board of directors. So we have common interests about doing things, various things in Laurel. Right. And it's working out well. It's a, it's a good partnership. Right. So do you have any future plans for the house? Well, uh, we want to do a restoration, but to what extent at this point, yet we do not know. We've hired a historic architecture uh, uh, consultant to um, give us the pathway to what is the right and what is not right to do with the property. So when we've just hired him recently, and he's going to do a thorough investigation of the property and come back to us with recommendations on what what we should do before we make mistakes. So so sitting there that long, a lot of people have seen the outside, mm -hmm. but now people can actually see the inside. Yeah, isn't it great? So I mean, like, wh when can we go? What what are we talking about here? You can come on December 5th, 12th, and 19th from 1 to 4 okay. to visit the property. There's no charge. Just come in, walk around, learn about the history, see it, live it. The house has been you know, remodeled over the years in different areas, so you're going to see 18th century, you're going to see, and later, mm -hmm. in, in various rooms. Like there were, there was the, the, the bathrooms in the kitchen were done in the 90s, the early 90s, so they, they reflect that period. And then uh, other rooms have, you know, have old paneling that it was just, uh, you don't see it anywhere else on Delmarva. This old uh, uh, raised paneling on walls that they, that they used is just amazing. And we've since come across more that were hidden in the loft above the, above the garage that were the, the mantle pieces and whatnot uh, that were around the original fireplaces. Oh, it's like peeling an onion back and <coughs> it, finding yeah, the layers. Right? It, it was just amazing to find those things in the house that somebody had the foresight to keep them. Let me ask you a personal question. Sure. You're with the Laurel Redevelopment Corporation. You're with the Laurel Historical Society. Mm -hmm. Why does Laurel mean so much to you? <laughs> I went to work there in 1992 as a realtor with a, what became a longtime business partner and friend, and uh, just can't leave. I, li I live in Seaford. I'm ashamed. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> so born, raised, graduated in Seaford. Uh, been in Laurel since '92, and and it's just yeah, I can't uh, I can't give it up. We've got a, I've got a lot invested, a lot of time invested. You. Yeah, it's got a lot a of time invested. That's incredible. And that's going to benefit and, a lot of people in the future. And have made a great deal of friends at Laurel Yeah, over the years. Mm -hmm. Well, Brian Shannon, thank you so much. Thank it's you. great to have you here thank today. Thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.